Hello, all you people. This is another episode of Duke Plays, but this is the first in a new series um, that I will be starting, obviously, uh, of Mountain Blade 2 Banner Lord, which is, of course, the sequel to Mountain Blade, uh, the game that came out, I think, the original one came out in like 2008. Um, which I played a lot. I enjoyed it immensely. It was a very, uh, for me, I, I, uh, it was like an open sandbox type game. And if I recall, there was no story, uh, in the first one, especially. Like, I think there were mods. There's been a million mods for that game. Um, but I, I liked the concept of, like, creating your own story, basically. You're put in this sandbox, this action RPG sandbox that you can basically just create your own story. There's this world, it's active, there's things happening in it, and you can make choices based on, on that. So it was, a, it was a game that I enjoyed a lot. Uh, one of the uh, expansions that came out for it was uh, Warband, which was probably my favorite, uh, or at least the one I played the most. Uh, I really liked that. So, so this, the actual sequel to the game, Mountain Blade 2, uh, is one I've been looking forward to for a long, long time. Anybody that follows me on social media, you've probably seen me tweeting the guys um, that, that run the game. And I, uh, uh, yeah, uh, it's, uh, that's like, that's real. That's just literally me being like, please, I want to play your game. Please. Yes, I am abusing like my ability to communicate with you right now. Like, I need you to know I want to play this game. And they came through. So, um, yeah. So this is amazing, and I'm excited. And, uh, yeah. I just want to start. So I, I haven't played really... So I was in the beta. Again, if you followed me on social media, you saw that I strong-armed them into giving me a beta key uh, when the open beta was happening. And I played it, and I enjoyed it immensely. However... The beta was only multiplayer. That was the only option you, you could have, which is great because you get to like get a feel for the game and get a feel for the mechanics and whatever. Like it was really uh, fun. However, multiplayer, if you know anything about me and what who I am as a gamer, like that's not my forte. So I was uh, I, I played it, I enjoyed it, but what I am really looking forward to is the single player campaign mode, which start now. So, I don't know much about the lore and, like, the different factions and the empires and, like, all that kind of stuff. I kind of want to just form my own opinions as I play. So, um, but I've got to make some choices initially. Here we go. So, we got to choose the culture. We've got, it looks like, uh, some sort of mountainous type people, uh, cold, snowy, you know, village people. I'm all about that. Um, these people live in the stone. These look like, what are they? Like, I don't know what the difference between them all is. Stone houses. I see stone and forests. These guys uh, look like a bit more nomads. I feel like those are the desert people. Um, but see, no, this is the desert people. These are definitely the desert people. These are like the hot hardcore middle of the desert people. These are like on the outskirts where there's starting to be some vegetation uh, desert people and they're still living in tents, but a little less. This is all just me. I, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Please, please, if you are watching this to learn something uh, or get accurate information, uh, please don't. I, I, I've not, I have, this is my first time uh, experiencing this, so uh, please. Just, just let me enjoy myself. Um, so I don't know. I like the snow guys. I'm, all, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of that, of course. But I don't know. These guys, these, these. What do I want to do? What do I want? I can't. I can't make these choices. I can't commit. I can't. I can't. What am I? I don't know. The, the forest guys here. These guys look like probably similar to the mountain. Uh, uh, snowy guys, but they're in the forest. And I feel like that's more my people, so maybe maybe I'll go with the Batanians. Batanians? Batanians? The Batanians? I don't know. I like the color scheme. 
Forests give 10 less speed penalty to parties. Oh, they all have uh, things. I should look at that then, huh? Um, what are there? Uh, extra speed bonus. Um, I remember these guys. I do remember, actually, a lot of these now that I'm looking at them. I thought they were, like, all new. Um, extra speed bonus on the campaign map. That's always great. The Asarai are the inhabitants of the desert, of course. Caravans are 30% cheaper to build, 10% less trade penalty. Pretty good. 20 more upgrade, 20% more upgrade XP to troops from battles. Oof. So those guys, like, the Vlandians are the descendants of adventurers from the West who lived under the empire for centuries before forming, forming an independent kingdom. With the decline of the imperial authority, they have evolved into a well-organized feudal society led by a caste of warlike nobles who preferred to fight with spears and lances on horseback. I mean, those guys sound cool. I'm, I'm a fan. I, I guess well, I probably should have just like started clicking on them to see, uh, to get a description. That'd be nice. Uh, Sturgeons. They're the descendants of the foreign tribes of nor northern Calradia. Calradia? I don't know how to say it. 20% um, less speed penalty from snow. And then the empire. So the Calradian Empire is in decline, and that's what these guys are. That's why it's like all broken and whatever looking. I get it. I get it. I get it. They're technologically more advanced than the neighbors, um, and their mastery of engineering is not just evident in their aqueducts, beautiful ar architecture, and massive city walls. It also makes them experts in siege warfare. 20% uh, bonus to construction speed, uh, to town projects, wall repairs, and siege engines. I feel like if you really wanted to focus on like towns and like owning the the land and it like building an actual empire, that these would be a, they would be a great choice. That is not not what I'm interested in. At least for this first playthrough, I'm really probably gonna either go with like these guys, these like forest Viking type guys. They prefer to fight on foot while using great axes, two-handed swords, deadly efficiency. Um, force give 10% less speed, uh, penalty to parties. So you can definitely have these, like, guerrilla warbands going through the forest with these guys, I feel like. They would be... That's, like, more what I'm interested in playing, is, like, a smaller... Leading a smaller w war party. Not necessarily a big old army. Which you can do. But first... So either these guys... I feel like these are, like... You're maybe not like if you don't know what else to choose, maybe choose this one because it's got the XP uh, bonus, which is nice. These guys seem like kind of well-rounded. They're d descendants of adventurers. They're they're they just seem well-rounded, and the bonus seems pretty general and effective and like not necessarily to uh, tailored to a certain play style. So huh, I cannot make this choice. I do not like this. We've been, I've been, this is like, I have not, I have not even loaded up the game, guys. I have not. This is, I hope you're, you know, I hope you're enjoying this. I hope this is everything uh, that you imagined it would be. So, um, let's go with the forest folk. I want to, I want to, I'm going to, I'm, I, they were my first, my, my gut choice based on the picture alone. So we're going to go with the Batanians. All right. Can we make female, please? Thank you. Let's randomize. Randomize all. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, we definitely gotta get some face paint. Alright, we definitely need... She needs to be tall. Like, real tall. I mean, that's pretty tall. <laughs> Wait. There we go. Okay. Let's keep going. hate like always trying to like remake myself because I feel like it doesn't it never it never turns out like you want it to so I'm hesitant I'm trying to find a like face that is like passable I'm just gonna put face paint on it anyway I guess but I like how their eyebrows, they get expressive as you go through them. Lord have mercy! <laughs> Pff, 
crown. Whoa. Uh, maybe not a bad, uh, the nose. See, like, I always feel like the nose, like, if the nose is not right, it, it just messes up the whole face. So, let's try. I'm kind of an olive skin tone. Voice pitch high, but you gotta be way taller. Like, I'm not, I am not as tall as you can be, okay? I am tall, all right? Everyone's like, oh, you're just so tall. I'm 5'11", okay? I'm 5'11". I'm not even six feet tall. And any of the, 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 the guys especially that insist I am six feet tall insist that because they are shorter than me and they have been telling everyone that they are six feet tall. So then it's like, if I'm not six feet tall, then they're definitely not six feet tall. So it becomes a thing. I'm like, no, seriously, not even, not, not, not even, uh, 5'11". So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna crank it all the way up. All right. Let's Give them hell! God. Soda to soda! How about let's fight? Can we do that? Get back! Move! Pull back! Ah, she's kind of annoying. That's it? One and two? Side by side! Side by side! You are dead! That's it. We've literally got two voices. Oh, come on, man. Attack! Have no mercy! She's got it. She's got it. She's got some sort of accent. Have no mercy! Batman! Hear me! Hear me! Take them down! Get back! Infantry! Voice pitch. Yes, with them. Forward infantry. Infantry. Soldiers. That's not bad. At last. That's not bad. Circle formation. I'll split your skull. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. I take it. Change clothing. Whoa. There's your armor. I gotta give you some new hair. We'll work on the face a little bit. That armor seems big. <laughs> it's fine. It'll fit. Hello, face. Skin type. What? Oh, like freckles and stuff. Mm -hmm. I feel like the forest folk, they have kind of ruddy skin. Probably she would. So, like, I, I will get freckles like that sometimes. Um if I have been out in the sun too much and like burn and peel, it, it happened to me a lot when I was a kid, I would get freckles. Um, little sunspots, it's actually not good. It just means I got burnt um, and my skin. Yeah, it was, it was like actually not a good thing, but, but I feel like it fits. Um, this is like so much to do and I'm gonna do it all. Weight. Can I like rotate down a little bit? I don't like how I can't like I can't get under her chin. I need uh, all right. mm. 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 there we go. Depth. Okay, just a little more depth. Face sharpness. Why are we so sharp? I don't know that I need all that. Like that's not really. I'm not like. I'm not that sharp. Sharply featured. Big brain. Big brain. I suck at size. Whoa! Damn! That's an orbital that'll get broke. Uh, ear shape. Alright, we gotta work on the ears though. For real. Ear shape, ear size. So, here's the thing, guys. My ears stick out. They're not ridiculously big. They're actually kind of small. Like, the size of my ears, kind of small. They just stick out. They just stick out. This is great. Like, it's like a, it's like a, a four horsewoman, like a, like a banner thing you put at the top of a Twitter or something someone made. And it has, like, the a half of each of our faces, right? And mine cracks me up because, like, you can see all of them and they have, like, normal ear, normal ear. And then I'm the, I'm, and when it gets to mine, it's just like ear. Like, it's just so, it's like half my picture is literally just my ear because it needed, like, oh, it's just, they stick out. So I always, 
try to honor that when I create a character. But it's sometimes they only have ear size, and mine are not big. They they yeah. What I say, what I need is them to rotate out. That's what that's what mine do. Yeah, there we go. Although mine rotate out way more than that, but that's still decent. And then I can make the ear size average. We'll say average average ear size, but maximum ear whatever. My ear wingspan. Face asymmetry. Eh? Oh, she got that snarl going. Okay. I'll leave it in the middle. I don't want her to have a permanent, like, stink face. Eyebrow tie. Here we go. Too thin. Better. Too thin. Ain't nobody got eyebrows like that in the wild. Eh, maybe. Those kind of look like mine. I have like long, long eyebrows. Death. There we go. I don't like it when they, the slider gets like too far off the middle line because I feel like then you start getting in weird extremes and it's like, it never looks good. It literally never looks good. Can I switch the hair so that I can at least like I feel like I can't build my face until I know what my hair looks like. I mean, okay, ponytail's fine. What's this? A little hat cut there. Okay. Uh huh. What about something with these tiny little braids? Anything like that? Anything? Uh, I feel like everybody chooses that one. Yeah, I mean, that's cool, but it's just... Ugh, everyone does it. Everyone's doing it. Makes me not wanna. Definitely not. Uh, not functional, but not... Fun. Nope, too pretty. Mm, wrong kind of braids. Oh, nice high ponytail. I like that one. That's very me. I mean, that one's prettier. Like, like, ooh, pretty. But that's like, whatever. That one's like, I'm going to battle, bitches. Hell yeah. All right, we'll go with that one. Definitely need to lighten it up a little bit. Although, if this stay-at-home thing has shown me anything it's that my roots are showing and um my my natural hair color is coming through although i do like I, I still get my hair will get light in the summer um and i'll get natural highlights from the sun especially if i'm like outside a lot or in the water a lot or whatever like it, it I, I will get that but my natural hair color is a fair bit darker than what probably most people have seen on tv Maybe not that dark though. Like I think that's accurate right there. I like that. Yeah. All right, we're getting there. We are getting there. All right, we got we're back on back on eyes. So brow inner middle. Wow. So you can straight up give her like. So she's like. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Are we angry? Are we angry? Kind of. And not less angry. Hmm. Oh. No. We're serious. We take it serious. We have a slightly furrowed brow. A nice little arch. Like a slight arch. I don't have like a a big arch, but a slight arch. You guys know I also like have not done anything to my eyebrows. Like I haven't even like tweezed them or anything in years. And uh, I don't, for a couple reasons. Um, I have this fear of like doing too much and then your eyebrows are gone. And it just, it's a horrible, I feel like that's a horrible fate. Um, so I don't want that. Uh, but also, I, I, I mean, it hurts, it's unpleasant, it's not fun. Um, and I, I, I don't trust anyone else to do it. Um, and I have a hard time doing it to myself so I, I stopped doing it altogether, and then Marina convinced me once to go get my eyebrows threaded. And now that was a horrible experience. I will never do it again. I'm, you know, if you like if you like getting your eyebrows threaded, have fun with that. It is not for me. So I just stopped, and I think I don't know. They're pretty good. They're, they're all right. They do okay. Like I let them just let them let them be, man. Let them be. So anyway. 
I feel like her eyes are huge. And I don't I don't have like abnormally large eyeballs, I don't think. Uh, monolid, what's that? Oh, oh. Definitely more on that spectrum, but we want kind of in the middle. Mono, I didn't know that's what that's called. Eye of height. There we go. She looks like she's wearing a little bit of makeup, though. Depth. Depth. There you go. So you can see it. But see, from the side, she looks kind of weird. I gotta work on her. I gotta work on her. We got, we got, we got work to do still. She's coming along, but I, I'm not there yet. There. Okay. I like that little bit of tilt on the eyes. That that helps a bit. I wish they kept their music going when I was. As I was working on it. All right. Those look like pretty normal eyes. I'll take that. I symmetry. Can we have it like dead in the center? I'd rather not be. I'd rather not be. I'd rather not be off. Ooh, wait, the color is a slider scale. Okay. Do they have gray? Because uh, that's what color I Actually, they, they do actually have a pretty good scale of that, like, gray, hazel, greenish, uh, a little bit of bluish. But definitely, really, if you just look at them, they're, they're gray. My eyes are gray. And I've had people be like, no, they're not. And then later be like, you're right, they are. So, they are. Somewhere in here, right about there, I see that little bitty... Like the little flecks of like the greenish, yellow, yes, yellow. I mean yellow. Um, good. Now let's work on this nose. Sometimes it, I like to like break their nose and make them all crooked because I'm like they're a warrior. Your nose would be fucked up, man. I'm okay with that. All right. Now my nose does kind of do that a little bit. Not like a not terribly, but like a little bit. A little, a little bit. I've done these character generation things so many times. I've really uh, probably like looked at my face like more than a normal person trying to be like, what, <laughs> what features <laughs> make my face unique? All right, you have a serious bridge of your nose, the Lord. It is crooked. Oh, oh it was crooked. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Huh. Mm, bit more normal. Nose to tip height. Nose tip. See that little, little, little bit. Go back. Yeah, yeah. Too much. Go back. There we go. Cute. What the cute? Nose size, size. I, I, I feel like I have a, a, not the smallest nose, but like pretty, pretty like, I feel like it's why my nose never really got messed up too bad in fighting because it's kind of a little. Like, it's kind of a little target. Uh, my, I definitely have a deviated septum from fighting. From getting it m mashed a few times. But it was really more in sparring that I got hit in the nose a lot. In my fights, it was, it was never, like, a huge deal. The only time I ever thought I broke my nose in a fight, like, truly, was when I fought Raquel Pennington on The Ultimate Fighter. And during that fight, in the first round, I was sure one of those punches had broken my nose and I couldn't breathe. So you can see me between the rounds just, just breathing through my mouth because I'm like, oh, it is broken. It, it just, it made the horrible noise. I couldn't, it was, yeah, I was like, it's broken. Like, it doesn't hurt. You're just like, it's broken. And it wasn't, I don't know how it wasn't, but I'm pretty sure that's probably like why I have the, the serious deviated septum. Uh, but that, that whole ordeal probably didn't help. Um, Let's see. Nose definition. What? Kind of a... A 
It's her mouth now that it doesn't look really look like me. Nose shape. Huh. Oh, it's weird. Like I can't quite figure out what it's changing, but I definitely see that it looks slightly different. There we go. Let's get this bad boy back straight again. I don't need the crooked nose yet. I'm I'm good. I'm good. I just want her to look tough. Okay. I'm gonna spend all this time on her face. I'm gonna just put face paint on her face. All right, I, I don't like this. Like, I feel like she's got kind of a little weak, little weak chin. I'm not saying I got a big chin, but like, it's not weak, you know. This jaw is strong. Let's see, average position, frown or smile. Very frowny. Mm, that's not quite. That's what. I'm not quite sure I'd say that's a smile. Like, no, that's not. Let's just stick with in the middle. Lip thickness. Now, like, I don't, yeah. Maybe the bottom lip a little bit, but like, I don't have, I don't have lip thickness quite like that. It's just not, it looks ridiculous on me. You know, uh, bottom lip shape, wait, what? Oh, oh. Hmm. what's it do? Oh, it just makes it a little whatever. <laughs> top lip shape. Oh. oh, see, yeah, top lip shape. Top lip needs to be small. It my it would be even smaller than that, but uh, it definitely should be more. The wait, just a little bit, just a little bit. to look weird. I just want you to look normal. Just look normal. Jawline. Here we go. What we got here? Boom, boom. That's right. Mm. You used to do a lot of jaw strengthening stuff um, for fighting because like it, it's uh, it that a strong neck and a strong jaw and like biting down on your mouth guard like will prevent a lot of knockouts. So I was thought it was like really important, and uh, I do think having a strong uh, jaw and a strong neck is just a good thing in general to like avoid neck problems and stuff. It's been really important uh, for me, like always, to make sure to do a lot of that stuff. I should do more of it. I should do some crazy stuff. Jaw height, chin forward. There we went. Yeah, I don't like how pointy it is. Like it's. Like that, but I want forward. Like, not quite an underbite. Like, that's better, but like, I don't like, that's better. Well, that's definitely an underbite. Now you've got an underbite. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Chin length. Average. Still, uh, something's not right. Where's your clothes? Put the clothes on. Yeah, I don't like your your mouth. Also, your cheeks. Width, depth, maybe that's what it is. Now your chin's all messed up. Jaw height. There, that that's there. Wait. Slightly better, a little less. There we go. I still feel like her mouth is like weird, very weird. I don't. I feel like full smile is like barely, barely a smile. Full smile. And if you go below full smile at all, it's like, meh, frown, frown. I mean, she's all right. She's all right. I went full mouth width of Joker face, though. Teeth type. Oh, my God. Ugh, why? 
horrifying. Could we just have why is why is teeth an option? Why is teeth an option? I don't care. Uh, 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 too much, too much teeth. I mean, those are like normal teeth. Listen, it's one or four. Those are pretty straight, weird-looking teeth. Those look like teeth you'd probably end up uh, with if you lived in the forest and, you know. Good lord. I was not ready for that. Um, yeah, I think she's all right. She looks like a... Yeah. Now, where's your face paint? There it is. Oh, boy. Oh, yes. Oh, that's why it looks like she has makeup on? Because she does. No wonder. There. We're gonna, she's gonna have no makeup, but I mean, that's amazing. Okay, classic. That's pretty sweet, actually. I can, I can dig the full, um, what's this? Just a little mask, just a little mask. Too frilly, too delicate. Nah. Yeah, I like these full face paint ones. That one's cool too. That one's cool. That one's cool. That one's real cool. Damn. These are all too delicate. I mean, got the Mike Tyson. Uh, got the face. Ooh, wow. That straight up took her eyeball out too, huh? Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Oh, these are scars. You can only choose one, huh? Oof, I like the scars. Oh my God. Yes. But I want face paint. There it is. Definitely that one. Now, what's the color? That's white. Blue. White. Wait, that's not white. That's light blue. That's white. Oh my god. Gray. Definitely that blue color is like amazing. Ugh, the red is crazy. That's intense. I like the blue. Matches her gear. It's it's very uh, appropriate. Um, okay. I'm liking this. She has a giant spear in her back. She has a bow and arrow. This is great. I feel like I've made all the right choices. Her her. I mean, what like what would we're good? Change. Like, look at her. She's, she's, this is badass. Amazing. Ready for battle. Let's go. Whoa, choose my family. Okay, wait. Okay, 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 okay. Oh God, this is stuff I'm not ready for. Oh my God, I'm not, not ready for, not ready for, not ready for, not ready for. One handed, two handed, full arm, bow. Crossbow, throwing, riding. Choose your family. What do you mean choose? You were born into the family of members of the chieftain's hearth guard. Oh, I, I see. It's like now it will show you. Into two-handed and bow. Okay, I like that pretty well. Healers. I'm a healer. Tribes people. Ten medicine and charm. Maybe if I was playing online, I'd play the healers. For this for this run through though, no no. Uh, the tribes people, athletics and throwing, the smiths, two handed and smithing. And one a tribute point to endurance. That's not bad. The foresters. Scouting and tactics, and one attribute point to cunning. Ooh. Scouting, tactics. Roguery. Ooh. Definitely want to... Definitely want to get up on that. I like that kind of. See, like, they, 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 they are cunning. They're not necessarily the warriors. Let's see what the bards are. Roguery and charm. Roguery is my new favorite word, everyone. Roguery. Your father was a bard. Oh my God. 
I mean, that's pretty sweet too. The Bards or the Foresters? Oh, I love it. Your father was a bard, drifting from Chieftain's Hall to Chieftain's Hall, making his living, singing the praises of one Batanian aristocrat and mocking his enemies, and then going to his enemy's hall and doing the reverse. That's very cunning. You learned from him that clever tongue could spare you from a life toiling in the fields if you kept your wits about you. I mean, yeah. Let's see what the Foresters one says. Your family had a little land of their own, so they earned their living from the woods, hunting and trapping. They taught you from an early age that skills like finding game trails and killing an animal with one shot could make the difference between eating and starvation. Yes. I feel like these are the guys I should, if I'm gonna do like a first playthrough that I'm trying to be like, let's survive, let's do this. I don't need to be like, the bards seem like they would be fun. I would probably pick a different um, culture to be the bards. Ooh, maybe like the desert people as bards would be fun. That may be one, another one that I play. Um, but for the, the, for these guys, I definitely think I should just go straight up foresters. These are, these are me. These are my, these are my hillbilly folk, uh, from Southeast Kentucky, basically. Like that's, that's what I'm dealing with right now. So I like it. And uh, we're gonna go with foresters. What the, look at me in the little tiny person. Look at me. Look what a weird little face I have. Just like I did. As a child, you were noted for leadership skills. <laughs> okay. Uh, my brawn. Not really. Leadership skills, not really. If the wolf pup gang of your early childhood had an alpha, it was definitely you. All the other kids followed your lead and decided what to play and where to play, and you led them in their games and mischief. That was my brother. That was my brother. It did not matter what age, uh, what game, where we were. Like, he was the leader. He, he, like, that was him. I was not. Uh, I was not known for my brawn. You were big and the other children looked to you. Uh, to have you around in any scrap. You pushed a plow and, and throw an axe like an adult. Yeah, that wasn't me either. Not that it has to be me, just my attention to detail. You were quick on your feet and attentive to what was going on around you. You usually run away from trouble, though you give a good account of yourself in a fight with other children if cornered. Now that I can get on board with. My aptitude for numbers, not really. Math is not my thing. Um, yep, I'm just going to skip that one. Uh, you were always attentive to other people. My way with people. Um, good at guessing their motivations. You studied how individuals were swayed and tried out what you learned from your from adults on your friends. Wow. So you get charm and leadership, points to social. My skill with horses. Oh. Oh. You're always drawn to animals and spend as much time as possible hanging out in the village stables. You could calm horses and were sometimes called upon to break in new colts. You learned the basics of veterinary acts and much of which is applicable to humans as well. So, like, even though these aren't really horse people, this is not a bad um, one to get for a little bit of balance. Because now, my, my, I get the bonus in endurance, which is great. I will get a little riding ability to start off with, which is nice. And then I have this, like, scouting tactics. Um, I have even a little bit of, of medicine. Like, it's pretty good. As opposed to, what was this one? One-handed, that would give me a little bit of fighting, though, and that is also important. Athletics is also good. I feel like this is, like, a smart choice, and the way with horses is, like, a fun choice. You know? What do we want? I'm not as good on horses. Um... I'm going to go with this, the smart choice. My attention to detail. Um, we'll go with that. If I did the bards, I'd probably have them riding on horseback and whatever. Like, you can't try and do everything with one type of whatever. You can have multiple playthroughs, guys. So I want to commit. All right, we'll go with my attention to detail. I'll take it. That way I get a little bit of bonus in the one-handed, which means I, I, I'm, you know, got a leg up in the fighting, which is nice. I need it. But I like uh, the, the scouting and the tactics. I'd rather, you know, maybe not jump into every single fight. Like, maybe try to be a little smart. Like, I don't want to just this, you know? Choose your adolescence. Oh, wow, look at me now. A slightly older child. Like all the village children you helped out in the fields, you also herded the sheep. You went out with other fleet-footed youths to take the village's sheep, goats, or cattle 
to graze in pastures near the village. You were in charge of chasing down stray beasts and always kept a big stone on hand to be hurled at lurking predators if necessary. Athletics and throwing. I already got that one, though. Fucking good. So you could, like, stack sheet up, or you could spread all your points around. I have not really decided what I want to do just yet. Working in the village smithy, you were apprenticed to the local smith. You learned how to heat and forge metal, hammering for hours at a time until your muscles ached. Two-handed and smithing. I think I'll, I'll, I'll stick to the one-handed. Maybe, maybe a polearm. Um, if I could find one that just like gives me a bonus in the pole arm, that'd be nice. Um, you helped dig wells, rethatch houses, and fix broken plows. You learned about the basics of construction as well as what it takes to keep a farming community prosperous. Um, we don't want to be a farming community. Ooh, here we go. Gathered herbs in the wild. You were sent by the village healer up into the hills to look for useful uh, medicinal plants. Ooh, it gives me another. Wait. Oh, there's the point in medicine, because I didn't get the other one. Right, 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 right. And scouting, and to endurance. Ooh, I like that one a lot. Or hunting small game. Oh, we get the bow, and we get, the, oh, see, ooh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that to get the bow. I need the bow bonus. Single, uh, one-handed fighting and a bow. Get another point in tactics. It's great. And one attribute point to control, which is really great. Really, really great. It's a necessary, yes, I got this. Sold produce to the markets, Wee, me. Yeah, we're gonna go hunt a small game, get that bow. There we go. Here we go, choose my youth, look at me. I'm growing up. Just a young gal in the mountains. All right. Uh, in war-torn Calradia, especially, Calradia, I don't know, especially in frontier or tribal areas, some women as well as men learn to fight from an early age. You stood guard with the garrisons? But you do get the bow uh, point because you're standing on the town walls, I guess. And engineering, road with the scouts, riding, and bow. Oh, that's pretty good. Trained with the infantry, polearm, and one-handed. There you go. Like straight up just combat. Boom. Join the skirmishers now. I like that too. Throwing. Bow. I mean, I know you want lots of options for weapons, but also, like, what's the balance of, like, how many weapons are you good with versus, like, like how many... Like, if I'm really good with a bow, do I need throwing? Like, maybe. I don't know. It's been a while, guys, since I played. Um, throwing and one-handed. Joined the kern. The kern! Here. Fight this kern. Uh, and then marched with the camp followers. You avoided service with one of the main forces of your realm's armies, but followed instead in the train, the troops' wives, lovers, and servants, and those who make their living by caring for, entertaining, or cheating the soldiery. Wow. But you get a point to roguery, throwing. Cunning. Cunning. Yes, yes, cunning. Very cunning. Pretty good. Pretty good. So I can either go straight up combat bonus or I'm going to go with these guys. Are we going cunning or are we going... I feel like the right, the smart choice is, of course, to go the combat bonus because I'm going to have to fight. And I don't want to be totally gimped up because I'm trying to play, like, a different way. But, like, I feel like I need some points down here into these and I'm not quite... I'm not quite getting them just yet. But it's okay. Yeah, you know... I'll take a basic understanding of the, the things, I guess. I don't I mean, that's okay. The Kiern. Throwing control. Ooh, I want it. Ah, uh, I do want that. I want it. I am very cunning. We've got scouting, tactics, and roguery. See, roguery is experience with the darker side of human life. You can tell when a guard wants a bribe, you know how to intimidate someone, and you have a good sense of what you can and can't get away with. Very, very important, in my opinion. Very important. Very, very important. Um, but of course, 
This would be smart. To just make sure that that I'm good. And you know, I can I can I can I can always level stuff up. So we'll start here. We'll start here. I'll be a little fighter girl. That's what I that's what I did. We'll do it. It's fine. All right, before you set out of a life adventure, your biggest achievement was you defeated an enemy in battle. Uh, not everyone who musters for the levy marches to war. Not everyone who goes on campaign sees action. You did both, and you also took down an enemy warrior in direct one-to-one -one combat in the full view of your comrades. That is, indeed, a great feeling and quite the accomplishment. And I love it. I love it. I love it. It makes me want to pick it because it's just so good. It's like, yep, you saved your village from a flood. When a sudden storm caused the local stream to rise suddenly, your neighbors needed quick thinking leadership. You provided it, directing them to build levees to save their homes. We got cunning leadership. I don't want all that. I don't want that. You invested money in uh, land. Eh, come on. Eh. Hunted a dangerous animal. Ooh. Wolves, bears are a constant menace to the flocks of northern Calradia, while hyenas and leopards trouble the south. You went with a group of your fellow villagers and fired the missile. Fire the missile! That brought down the beast. Bow and crossbow. Increase your renown. See, I don't want the crossbow. If I'm doing bow, I just want bow. Don't, don't waste that point. You had a famous escapade in town? Excuse me? What? Maybe it was a love affair, or maybe you cheated at dice, or maybe you just chose your words poorly when drinking with a dangerous crowd. Anyway, on one of your trips into town, you got into the kind of trouble from which only a quick tongue or quick feet get you out alive. Get your point in roguery, athletics, um, endurance. Hey, I like it. That's nice. Got a famous, you had a, I treated people well. Aw. That's a solid accomplishment in life, to just treat people well. That's nice. That's nice. Want to mercy, generosity, and honor. Right for now. Yours wasn't the kind of reputation that local legends are made of, but it was the kind that wins you respect among those around you. You were consistently fair and honest in your business dealings and helpful to those in trouble. In doing so, you got a sense of what made people tick. Yeah, well, I feel like I want to go with my... Um, I defeated an enemy in battle, you know? I can relate. I like it. And people do think it's a big deal. It does count for a lot, you know? So we'll get all our... So, like, I've pumped a lot of points into fighting and vigor and all that. But really, I'm quite cunning and I have good control as well. These are all, like, uh, you can level up all this stuff, too, and make different choices. This is just to get you started. And, like, these are these are the choices. This is why I love these games, because you're going to make these choices, and it's hard. I'm going to go defeat an enemy in battle. This young, I don't even think I've named her yet. Um, probably Duke, so I'll name her. Um, defeated an enemy in battle, and everyone saw it. And now I've gained great respect from everyone. Look at that! You defeat an enemy in battle, you have to wear the war paint. Choose your story background. Ooh! Like many families in Calradia, your life was appended by war. Your home was ravaged by the passage of army, of army after army. Eventually, you sold your property and set off with your father, mother, brother, and your two younger siblings to a new town you'd heard was safer, but you did not make it. Along the way, the inn at which you were staying was attacked by raiders. Your parents were slain. Damn! Parents are always slain in these origin stories, every time. <sighs> Name a protagonist in one of these games that does not have a slain parent's origin story. Hmm? Your two youngest siblings were seized, but you and your brother survived because we subdued a raider. I'm not gonna go any more points into this. Come on, man. I drove them off with arrows. That's pretty good. We'll take the little, that's tactics and a bow. That's a pretty good one. You rode off on a fast horse. I don't know about that. Riding and scouting, eh. That actually might not be a bad one to get a point in riding and get this other point in scouting. We tricked them. Roguery. Roguery. Tactics, roguery. You organize the travelers to break out. 
leadership charm. Blam, blam, blam. Those aren't fun. What do we do? We either rode off on a horse or we drove them off with arrows. Hmm. I don't know. I, want... I do kind of want one point in horse riding just so I'm not terrible at it. You know? Like, I don't want to be the worst ever. And I get an extra point in scouting, which is important. And I want to be a good tracker, scouter, whatever. Yeah, we're going to go with this. We rode off on a fast horse. This is how we survived, guys. And, uh, yeah. You prepare to set off with your brother on a mission of vengeance and rescue. Here's your character. Click finish if you are ready or go back to make changes. Oh, my. Look at her. I actually really enjoyed this character creation process. And it has made me uh, very excited to start the game. I think I will enjoy going through this process many, many times uh, over in the future. This is great. I, s I sense a lot of replayability already. And I have sh I'm sure I've made some terrible choices. Uh, but the only way to really know is to just play them out and just see what works and what you actually wanted and needed and whatever. Um, let's see. We're gonna go with Duke. There. It only took me three tries. Okay. Duke, are you ready? Not ready. All right. No, not quite ready yet. Um, we're not, we don't need very easy, we don't need easy, can we just have, yeah, real, realistic, uh, friendly troops receive damage, why is it, look, it's not gonna give me, like, a description, uh, oh, wait, damage to your troops, friendly parties receive damage, realistic player receive damage, realistic recruitment de difficulty, realistic map, Movement speed. Realistic. Enable death. Choose if the heroes are able to die on the battlefield. Uh, yes. Um, auto allocate clan member perks. Um, I'm going to do that for now so that I don't forget and mess it up. And I'll go back later eventually and like learn it and whatever. But I, I don't want to not, I don't want to miss anything. And I'll let the game just make average choices for me right now while I figure this out. What is happening? I hear what? 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 Sister. Wow, my brother looks old. Oh, uh, yeah. This looks like an old training field for the legions. Perhaps we could spare some time and brush off our skills. The practice could come up useful when we catch with the raiders. Catch up with the raiders. I gotta give my brother a better voice than that. I'm going to run the course. I need to know if I can fight. And if I have to, continue the tutorial. We have no time. Blah blah blah. Do you think we for that? How should we prepare for the fight? Um, how should we prepare? Well, if they start pillaging, they may have to split up into smaller groups. Hopefully, we won't need to take them all at once. But it would help if we could hire or persuade some people to join us. Yes. Um, what else we got? Do you think we'll catch up with the raiders soon? The tracks look fresh. I've seen some smoke on the horizon. They cannot move too quickly if they're still looting and raiding. I hear just someone dying in the background here. All right. And then let's... I'm going to continue running the tutorial. Let's go! Yes. Movement, okay. All right. Movement. You can uh, move your character forward, uh, backward. Okay, try them all now. Okay. Forward. Backward. Right. Left. Okay. That's it. Shift the wizard. Hello. Enter a training area. Oh, I see. That looks like a horse area. Spear. What do we got? Ooh, give me this bow. Horse archery? What? Could you guys, like, keep it down? Jesus. Hmm? Could you? Could you do that? I have just a big one. Mounted sword training? Not ready for any of this, man. Oh! Mounted. Mounted the horse. How do I mount the horse? Old workers. Alright. Can you 
jump that. No. Lord, they are going at it, man. Finish the track and hit as many as you can. Is this? Oh, I'm on it. Sweet. Oh, I missed it. Totally missed it. All right, try again. Got one. There it is. Boom. Getting it. Boom. Um, I think I missed the first one, right? I think I've got everyone since then. Right. Oh, come on! Bang. Oh! Bah. I'm the worst! Oh! I got cocky. Yeah. Oh, that was a hit. Whatever, dude. That was totally a hit. Alright. Get it together. There we go. Get it together. That's right. Oh! I just ran smack that. Uh, whoa, whoa. Ah! Got him on the backswing, though. Let's go around. Okay. Oh, God. How does my horse jump? Is there a jump button? Mm -hmm. Oh! Yeah! I got it! Oh, can I jump? Yeah! Dismount with Z or F or F. Z or F while looking at the horse. Or just Z. Okay. Got it. We did that. Choose another weapon or go to another training area. Mount the spear. Horsery. Let's, let's do uh, horse archery. I would like. I would like to. There we go. Y'all. I'll be here. Have to show those guys what's what in a minute. Hey, there it is. Nope. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. There it is. Gotta wait till I'm closer. I also can't hold it for quite so long. Now we're getting it. Ah. For a long shot. Ah. Ah. There we go. None of this matters. This is just me practicing. Literally just practicing. Oh. Woo! If I hold it too long, it's like terrible. Really. somewhere. Let me just dismount, please. Yes. Uh, mounted training, mounted spear training. We'll do that one, too. Mounted sword, mounted spear. And then mount the horse. Oh, I'm getting much better already. And we're off. And then we're gonna go, yeah! Okay. Yeah, okay. There's a little bit of a delay on the threat. Oh, come on! There it is. That's right. We got range. Stamp. 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 Oh, God. Well, I, get, I better get XP for doing all this. I am good. Bye. Oh! I'm like those knights. Oh, at medieval times, I got him still. You know when they, they play the game, right? Where you gotta... You gotta stab the ring, and then the knight comes over and gives a flower, and it's it's a whole thing. I never got a flower. It's whatever. It's cool, you know. I didn't really want one. If I'm being honest, I just wanted I wanted the food. I was happy with my chicken, and uh, and 
the food that I could eat with my hands. I did not need a uh, flour from the stupid night, but you know what? It's fine. It's it's not it's not often the the night I get at medieval times wins. I do always like it when I we get in the section with like the evil knight though. He's always way more fun. There it is. Now we've done all mounted training. Lovely ranged training. Let's go to a different training area. How do you put up your? Wait, leave it. I don't want to leave it. How do you put up your? Like sheath your, your weapon, brother. What's over here? What we got? Sword and shield. That's what I'm talking about. Hello, trainer. Oh, don't be defend from the left. What? Okay. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Uh huh. Oh, attack. What? What? Uh huh. I am understanding now. Yes. See, this is important. I need to know these things. And what else we got here? Uh, it's just regular old sword training. Lovely. Let's try this again. What are we doing? Defend. Got it. Wow. Wow. Yep. I've done this in real life as well. Yep. One, two, and then boom. Perfect. No problem. I do like to think that actual weapons training experience will help me with this. I don't know that it's true, but I like to think it. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna continue to think it. You guys need to seriously, like, knock it off. Hi, let's go. Be a rookie trainer. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh my goodness. Ooh! Uh-huh. Die, you pig! I don't think so. What? Oh, come on. <gasps> Ooh! I just smacked him! Oh, come on. Stab! Ah! Oh, he faked me out big time. This is hard. Can I like shoulder check this guy for real? <sighs> More blocking. Ah! Oh, Jesus, he's keeping me on my toe. Oh, I've been slain. I've been slain. Ah! You've lost. You can restart by training. Okay. I could be here a while. Let's do this again. I at least gotta beat this guy. Yeah, I see you, man. I see you. Ugh! Dude! I love, like the stats though when you read like the hits and stuff like it's a lot there's a lot that goes into this it's like a lot more realistic than i think it looks it on the surface and it's i love how difficult it is oh god to get the hang of it mm -hmm. mother can i i want to do like a parry i need some advanced techniques yo y'all just taught me like block and whatever that's right Glory. Yeah. Mm. There it is. It's gotta be quicker. It doesn't like this is a game where if you try to just ha I mean if you turn it on easy I'm sure you can but like if you try to just hack and slash your way through it and not actually fight and you know learn the combat mechanics there we go 
you're going to really struggle with it. So, um, all right, trainer. You're the advanced one, huh? Oof! Yeah, but you got a two-hander, bruh. I got your number. Oh, I blocked that, I thought. There it is. That's right. Ooh, got on your weak side, huh? That's it. Yeah, that's right. As long as I can block, he's the two-hander is so much easier to fight against the shield. Way harder. He was supposed to be the harder fight, I think. He was way easier. Way easier. All right. Let's see. We got... Oh, snap. Okay. With sword, with sword and shield. Um, yeah. All right. Okay, I'm going to finish these training tutorials, okay? I feel like we got the gist of it. Um, I hope you did anyway. So I'm going to wrap this episode up here. I'm going to finish these training tutorials, and uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed. I know that it was a lot of character creation, uh, but I also hope you enjoyed the good conversations that I had while doing so, and maybe you understand a little bit more about me as a gamer uh, after having watched it. But this is just the beginning, of course, so I hope that you enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.